Behind the Chaos, presented by Spell Paving Services, Lee Craft, Monday Morning Racer, first ever Chaos Cajun Nationals qualifying underway. Let's take a look. I got wild. It's chaos. Here in the Blue Max pit, you might have seen the footage that got a little wild in the Q1 session, took out a cone, and then there was oil on the track. And with oil on the track, the instant thought is extensive mechanical damage but that's not the case something very strange in i would say drag racing period but especially for the blue max it's something that's not even really noticeable on the camera but what you're looking at is a split a very fine split in the oil pan so that caused oil to get off the track oil underneath the tires and the driver of the blue max to have a wild ride we'll see if they have it buttoned up in time for q2 to go out and make another attempt definitely a front runner in funny car chaos and you know with this beautiful tribute car being at such a historical raceway that they want to get the job done here at the cajun chaos nationals There's an infrared beam that comes from the outside of the racetrack and shines to those reflectors inside those foam rubber cones. A short fix. And you can see the uh, mops at work at the starting line to make sure there's no more fluid there. Not sure whether we're looking at uh, fuel or some other fluid, but they will take care of that. Hi, Rob! In the world of Honeycomb Chaos in 2021, Jade Cook and Phil looking on, Taylor the backup girl getting ready for their first qualifying shot once we get to the go. What? What is that on a funny car? Turbos! Get it, man!
line with jets, top fuel dragsters, fuel alters, dirty south gassers, super stalkers, and hot rods, and a show that you can't believe. It keeps getting better all night long at the Chaos Cajun Nationals. Ray Kelly. His team from East Texas bring these jet dragsters up to the starting line. They will tickle those infrared beams and they're going to go down the racetrack just like everybody else does. Revs come up on the jet engines. Hang on, race fans. They are about to send it to the top end. We are go for launch, Houston. Four eleven tower side gets there first. One hundred ninety-five right, miles an hour. Four thirty-five on that right side at one eighty-five. Ladies and gentlemen, Lee Kraft here in the pits at the Cajun Chaos Nationals. Caught up with Kirk. Williams Kirk you're the provisional number one qualifier at a 383 in what proved to be a tricky track you think that's a good number to stand even through two eliminations yeah it uh, the car it, uh, it it actually stuck the wheel to the track it was it seemed kind of lazy but it was carrying the front wheels pretty hard and she started getting squirrely out there so it, about three five into the run we lifted on the thing and thought well we'll come back for another one and uh, Lo and behold, everybody's starting to have problems going down that track, so maybe that ain't so bad. <laughs> Kirk, after a tough Funny Car Classic, do you feel like this week is a must to go rounds in whatever field you wind up in, and more than likely being the A field? You know, I, yeah, every race to us is a must race, you know, because every point counts because of the way this point structure is the winner of the B field can wind up winning the points. So you want to come up there and get all the laps you can get in through qualifying, grab them points, and then grab all the points you can uh, through eliminations. Firm believer in, just go rounds, the points will take care of themselves. Left lane, got to figure out what that last digit is. That might be the new number one qualifier, possibly.
position of the track. You see that traction compound going down. And so we are making sure, we try to make sure we are ready for these two top fuel monsters down for us on the car as they go down the racetrack. As they pick up speed, the wings supply wing to the back end so that the car does not take off and they the slicks. We're done with Q2, caught up with David Ratton, the voice of chaos. David, here we are at the famous facility in Baton Rouge. What did you think about the first two sessions? I tell you what, it was a tricky night. You could tell that by some of the challenges that our competitors had going down the racetrack. A little cold out here. First of all, it was kind of windy, but uh, you know, and some of them went right down the racetrack. I tell you what, you've got to be looking at Camp Stanley and Clay Cunningham and that still crazy team because they made two very good runs right down the racetrack. 406, I think, the first time, or 405, and then they ran that 396 for a career best elapsed time while everybody else, not everybody else, but a lot of people were struggling. So I mean to tell you, still crazy is kind of putting themselves in a the favorite spot. And of course, along with them, Jeff Cameron had an unfortunate set of circumstances his first run down the racetrack but came out there and ran that 383 and uh, is number two on the qualifying list behind kirk williams by two ten thousandths of a second i mean that was just extraordinary and so you know those three that i've mentioned right there plus tom purchase who came off the trailer and ran a 405 Right now, you're kind of looking at four people that really have posted themselves as favorites for you know for going into tomorrow. Now, tomorrow could be an entirely different set of circumstances because we're going to have sunshine, we're going to have a little heat on the track, not supposed to be quite so windy, and plus they will have the data that they've gathered from here tonight. But uh, interesting session tonight. It was um, you know it was. Not everything it could have been, but it was better than it could have been too. And there were certainly all kinds of interesting things that took place. But tomorrow looks like it's going to be an exceptional day uh, here for this event. David, different hat. Where's the straw hat? You're supporting the local team. Good. Why the hat? <laughs> Why the hat? There's simply one reason. The wind today was so high that uh, I would be chasing that thing, and I don't run very fast, so I would be chasing that big hat. So. I uh, opted for the opted for the Go Tigers uh, ball cap, and of course, uh, repping LSU is not an issue for me because one of my daughters is a graduate from there, and I'm pretty fond of the uh, uh, purple and gold. Chicks Tigers. <laughs> Funny car qualifying here on Saturday afternoon. It's the last chance to shuffle the deck. Right now, Jordan Ballou is qualified in the A field. Dustin Bradford qualified in the B field. They would like to move up in that American industry. Dustin Bradford uses all of that racetrack, takes out the cone at the 330, so that number will be disallowed. The car made a move last night and took out that uh, center cone, just like you saw Bradford do a moment ago. 
That's what happened to the Blue Max last night. So they are at they present, will be here later. not on the qualifying control. list. <laughs> So they want to make sure that they put this nitro burning Blue Max car into the show. This is their last chance to do it. No pressure, Ronnie. The number at the top of the qualifying list is 383. The number at the bottom of the qualifying list is uh, no big deal. But Blue Max Racing definitely wants to step up their game and put that car into the program and be qualified for round one racing coming up at five o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. Scott Perezo, he's ready. Got the twin turbo machine. He'll wait for the Blue Max to pre-stage. He will spool up those twin twin turbos. Stage the car. Ronnie Young will stage the Blue Max and then it will be off to the races. Perezo, right now in the Rodax Custom Coffee, a field of funny. Goes up in smoke, and Perezzo goes 440 with a nine and picks up the tempo. The 440 will take uh, Perezzo from number seven to number five. Last round of qualifying is underway here at State Capital Raceway. It is still proving to be a tough old Cajun track for these funny car competitors. Still got a few more cars here in the lanes. Let's catch behind the chaos.
here at Funny Car Chaos, yes, it's about the funny cars. It's called Funny Car Chaos, and this is behind the chaos. But the chaos is even more than funny cars. A few altars, Dirty South gassers, more. Oh, that Nitro Chaos thing, too. Remember that. Back to back. a 392 blast at 175 miles per hour for that altar. Clay Cunningham, you're in what I would consider the marquee matchup of round one for both A and B fields. Don Knobloch and you two are tied in the points in Funny Car Chaos. You think you can nab a win and move on? That's what we're really hoping to do is uh, get out there and be consistent just like we have all weekend. Uh, car's running great. Camp Stanley's got it set on kill and it's just running like a top, man. So uh, driving like a Cadillac. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Just try to stay consistent and try to get the W. Did you think this early in the year that you'd have this opportunity to take the points lead solely in the second event of the season? No, no, never dreamed it, but hard work, it works. Jeff Deal, you know him from NHRA Funny Car, tuning for Don Knobloch here, the Atomic Punk. Jeff, big matchup, could top possibly take the points lead here in Funny Car Chaos competition. You think your driver's up for it? Yeah, I think he's up for it. You know, we came out here last night, we smoked the tires, and I kind of misread the track at well, it looked a little better than it was, and we were way at the back of the line by the time we got there. I did, obviously, what I didn't want to do and smoke the tires, so I didn't sleep very well last night and just came out here and pulled a bunch of power out of it, and Don got in it, and I told him he's got it, and he drove right down there, and we knew it was going to be a little slow this round because I pulled so much out, but we'll go back at it and go after these guys. Jeff, you've seen a lot of racetracks from Bakersfield to NHRA level across the country. What do you think of the old state capital raceway? You know, I was here 30 years ago. I drove a front engine dragster and uh, it's a good track. You know, it's smooth and they they prepare it well. And uh, I think it'll be a new, new track. And uh, you know, this is the new Cajun Nationals. It's back and I'm glad to be here. Round one, chaos, Cajun Nationals happening now. You know how I know that? Because backup girls are out. Chaos. the chaos Cajun Nationals on the side of the wall We've got a little bit of downtime number one rule as a backup girl what is it um, follow what your crew is telling you and get the car positioned right and don't fall is it as exciting as it looks oh yeah I love it I wouldn't do it if I didn't I love changing my outfits and it's, it's definitely exciting got lots of fans good time
Lee Craft for Funny Car Chaos here in the pits. Caught up with Scott Pariso, the man with the turbo funny car. Competition single. It's got to feel good to do well after a rough funny car classic. Yeah, it's been a rough uh, last year and a half, so we put together a bunch of good passes this weekend. It feels really good. Finally getting some somewhere with this car. So in Funny Car Chaos, having twin turbos, are you crazy, man? Why? I think I'm crazy, but it's a fun race. The Chaos race is just fun to be at, so we're doing it, having fun. Good luck here in the semifinals. Thank you. Here in the Williams Racing Pit, 200 proof funny car, Kirk, the captain we can say here definitely so far and possibly at the end of the evening, he wants it to be, is back in the final round. Does it feel like things are coming back to normal possibly? Possibly, possibly. I mean the car, E1, it, it went down the track, it went fast. E2 is a little tricky, had to pedal a little bit, but we think we found another, another underlying issue, but we'll just take another swing at it and see what happens. Yeah. Hey,
with this now. Hey, that was bad. <laughs> I taught y'all yeah. enough. Yeah, I yeah. Hey, I can say I taught him. Hey, 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 you, you want to go back to your pro mind? Wait, wait, wait. You got to see this. Wait, I'm just standing here. Put it in front if you want. On Facebook. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right, the Iowans. Iowans, man. The inaugural Chaos Cajun Nationals was a resounding success. The fan base already asking, will you return next year? And we were able to bring, for the first time in over 15 years, 1,000-plus horsepower cars to race on the famed State Capitol Raceway drag strip. Congratulations to Kirk Williams, the A-field winner, and Smiley Cordero, the B-field winner. Catch Funny Car Chaos next at Pine Valley Raceway in Lufkin, Texas. This has been Behind the Chaos.